let's talk about how to use Service Fusion. Open the Service Fusion app on your phone, and when you do, you'll see this screen. When clocking in and out, do not press the green button at the bottom of the screen. Instead, we're going to keep track of hours worked on each individual ticket, and I'll show you exactly how. To begin, press the top left button that says My Work. This will show you all tickets and tasks assigned to you. I'm going to click on the Alderwood Red Robin ticket. In the top left corner of the screen, you'll see the status of the ticket in a white circle with a blue icon. For this one, it's pending Spokane. Then to the right of that, you can see the day that this ticket is scheduled on you for, the time period that you're expected to arrive, and other information like that. Moving down, you'll see the location of the ticket and a description of the work that needs done. So when you're ready to head to this ticket, what you're going to do is click on that white circle that says Pending Spokane, and you're going to change the status to In Route. Then, once you've arrived at the location of the job, change the status again to Stop Drive Time. That will track the hours that you spent driving. And it will also begin your labor time. So this is how we clock in and out properly. Once you've completed your work, you can click on the notes button toward the bottom. It has a, a red book icon on it. And you're gonna enter your notes by clicking add notes. And you wanna be specific of the work that you did, any parts that you're going to need, anything like that so that the office staff can update the ticket properly. So for this one, let's say tech arrived and inspected unit, tech found Freon levels to be low, tech charged unit and will need to return to search for leaks. Let's say that. So then we're gonna save our notes and then we're going to add pictures by clicking the photo icon. It's a red button up here toward the top. And when you're adding pictures, you want to make sure you have a picture of the issue, the nameplate, and the work done. So I'm going to add some pictures from my photo gallery. I have the nameplate and a picture of the unit. Perfect. Now, the last thing I'm going to do here before changing the status is to click this equipment button. It's two down from the notes tab that we were just on. Click add equipment and I'm going to first see if this HVAC unit is already entered. So I'll click available equipment and type in HVAC. Let's say it's this one. If the equipment you're looking you worked on has not already been entered, if it's not included on that available equipment list, then just go ahead and enter the information in manually. And then save. Then we're going to click back. We're going to make sure we have everything entered, we have the equipment, we have our notes, we should have our photos, yep. So now we're good. Now, since we need to return to this job, we're going to change the status once more to return Spokane, and that will clock you out of the ticket, okay? Now, let's say we are returning back to this job to check for the leak. So we're going to say that we're in route. We're going to stop our drive time. We're gonna look over the unit, add our notes. This time we're going to say tech returned to search for leaks. Tech found unit needs a new EVAP coil. I'm just making this up on the spot. So then you'll add your pictures just as we did before, and then this time you're going to change your status to part needed office. 
which is in the bottom left corner of the screen. If it was something that you, if you needed a part that you could acquire yourself from Lowe's or a parts house, then you would change it to part needed tech, which is the top left hand button. But for this one, part needed office. Oh, this status requires completion notes. So for completion notes, you can just type in C notes and the office staff will update those accordingly. But that way you can change the status and that has clocked you out of the ticket. So now the parts are in for this job and you're returning once more to install them. So again, in route, stop drive time, that's clocked us in. Now we're tracking our labor hours and we're going to install the new part. And when it's time to do our notes, we're going to say tech returned and installed new EVAP coil. And we'll say unit is working properly. Save that, and then you'll wanna make sure to add a picture of the old EVAP coil, the new one that you installed, and all of that. And then once we're done this time, we're going to change the status to monitoring unit, which means that all issues have been resolved and the unit is working properly. And that is how you use Service Fusion. The biggest reminder here is to, once again, do not click that green clock in button at the start and make sure that you enter quality notes, enter the equipment information and get a picture of the nameplate, the issue and the resolved product. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you so much for following along.